Yeah, so I thought I'd pop over to Todd's and have a look see what's going on here. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of stock being sold. These are the ones, these are used. Waiting to be sold. And all the vans over there have all been sold and waiting collection. So you can see the market is absolutely booming for motorhomes. So I thought I'd have a come and have a look at some of the motorhomes they've got here. And this is a new one. There's a local guy who's making these or converting these. It's called Landseer. And it's based on good old Ford Transit. A pop-up roof. A very nice colour. Alloy wheels. All the usual Ford goodies in here. Lands here. Got quite a nice little sitting area in here. Cupboards at the back. Have a look at one or two of the cupboards. Very nicely made cupboards. Okay, so you've got a rock and roll bed. Nicely stitched leather effect sofa, compressor fridge, sort of a typical arrangement really. Grill oven, cupboards at the back, a sink. You've got a leg for a table there. Let's have a look inside. I've sanitised all my hands before we came in here, that's what they're asking people to do before and after you look at a van. Two burner hob. Eber Spracker heating. Looks like the, that's the controls for the rising roof. have got reading lights here, obviously you can use those in, in bed or underneath fly screen at the front. Looks like the sides unzip as well. And the bed obviously is there. Three person seat there. Presumably that comes out to make into a main bed. An electric step as well. bin space and somewhere to put things and afford. Cup holders everywhere. That's uh, tilt and rake and back adjustments. Steering wheel controls go all, all the sort of usual things. The phone controls. Cruise control. It's a six-speed manual. Yeah, no, it's lovely. Leather steering wheel. USBs and 12-volt points there. More cubby, more cubby holes. You've got the ladder behind this seat. lower vent there. Looks like that's the electric step adjustment there. Yep. Oh, that's good. And that's for adjusting where the seat sits so you can bring this forward and put it back. Oh, it's a very nice looking van. I guess it's quite short as well. It's probably Certainly under six meters, it's yeah, very nice. 
and the on the road price for this is 52995 So this is another Landseer, so this is the other one they've got in here. And this is on a VW. This is 56,500. So this has got the seat fully forward. Obviously it would give you more space inside, but... That's sort of ready for the bed to go down, I guess. So usual sort of thing, you've got the compressor fridge and uh, grill oven, little cupboards, pop-up roof with the bed above. As soon as with the seat all the way forward, that gives you a huge amount of space if you want to put now an awning in here or something. Electrics in there, LPG. Cupboards go a long way back. Cab oh. Cabinetry. Cabinetry feels very nice. Blacked out windows. And the VW cab. Uh, obviously, some prefer the, the VW cab. It actually, seems like a reasonable price for it. Your steering wheel controls, six speed manual. I'm going to try and move everything about. We'll look in the cab area. Cruise control, phone controls, nice clear dashboard, sat nav, climate, climate control, air conditioning, well it's air conditioning at least, I can see that. I haven't got any labels on these, I think they're fairly new so I can't really give you too much information about them. US, I can see USB sockets at the back there. I think it's Eber Spracker heating. Fresh water goes in there. Electricity goes in there. Controls are over there. Tells you your voltage. No step there, but perhaps you don't need it. I think the Ford one had an electric step. Yeah, so two nice campers there. VW is a bit more expensive, 56500 and Ford 52995. Well, this one took my eye. This is the Auto Trail Tribute F60. Again, it's a Ford. There's a bit of a dark cab going on. wheel trims oh, it's looking around the outside step so this is on obviously on a chassis cab so it's a little bit higher but you've got a little garage in here a 
little drop down shelf it's probably useful so that toilet cassette at the back rear view camera was nice to see gas locker this side yeah so this is under six meters 5.99 2.35 wide and 2.88 tall so it's got a 130 brake horsepower engine two litre Ford engine obviously uh, comes with sat nav dab radio Oh, it says motor home specific sound nav, dab radio, Bluetooth, hands free, reversing camera, rain sensing, windshield wipers, heated front windscreen, cruise control, air conditioning. So it comes with all the all the Ford goodies. Let's have a look inside. Right, so just stepping inside. Got some magazine racks there. like a little table cupboard no that's not the table cupboard is it that's the table cupboard okay well that's good a really good size fridge all your controls up there got whale heating TV point there nice place to put a TV fly screen twin sofas there's no drop-down bed in here so these obviously make up for the bed it does give you an awful lot of headroom because there's no drop-down bed have a look in see what the covers look like yeah a bit of a lip there to stop things moving about too much but does seem like a lot of wasted space up there for me. I suppose you can't do anything really when you've got the sunroof. But with Ford, you get all get all these cubby holes, loads of little sort of cubby holes everywhere. Cup holders everywhere, and the bottom there on the top, cubby hole over there. Great big screen at the front six-speed manual cruise control and phone and radio and uh, all that sort of thing 12 volts over there USBs handbrakes on the other side isn't it Is handbrake? oh yeah handbrakes on that side now that's interesting that so should make swiveling the seats a lot easier Like quite a sort of a modern white wood feel to it so I suppose they're trying to get away from the traditional sort of look the brown upholstery great big cupboards there's the sink and you've got the good old Thetford duplex grill oven it's there, it's cut for draw, I think. Yeah, and you've got a rear bathroom. Let's see if I can switch the light on somewhere. There, that's it. So, toilet's quite a way up. That's okay for me. A nice corner shower. It's not bad size. A nice square sink. You can stick your head in that quite easily. Nice to see cupboards with shelves. And as well as the outside locker, you've got quite a nice wardrobe space. Hey, this is alright. 
liking this quite a lot. So extractor fan. That's nice to see. Lots of places to hang things. Fly screen. Yeah. All good this. Not a bad price. You've got uh, fly screen. I don't think the sunroof opens. No, that doesn't open the front one. I look. Oh, does it? Hang on. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, it does. That opens. That's good. Let in the light there. With a, it's not really a sunroof there, it's more like ventilation. You've got net curtains. And uh, blinds that come down. I don't know. No, I suppose because you've got net curtains, you don't need a, a mesh there. I suppose that's what they're thinking. Yeah, no, it's just got a a blind and some me some mesh curtains that are not good for keeping the midges out. I've said this before with auto trousers you always seem to get a lot of cupboards. Cupboards everywhere. And the good size cupboards as well. It's not not your silly little uh, tiny things. Oh, that's it. Couldn't see what that was. Yeah, they are good sized cupboards with shelves in them. Yeah, like this. Also looks like you've got an outside locker there as well. There's only one on the other side. No, no locker on that side. But yeah, that's not bad. Forty-eight thousand nine nine five under fifty thousand pounds. Yeah, so this is an auto sleeper Cotswolds, thirty-four thousand nine nine five. It's on a six O plate, so two thousand and ten, I guess. Alloy wheels. LPG tanks. Yeah, so you have a whale inlet. Yeah, I think barbecue point. There's lots of things fitted here. Outside security lock, a Fiamma lock. What that is. The step. I don't know what that is. What's in there? Oh yeah, that's the step. Okay. Yeah, I think these are in for valeting, so they got the carpets out of it. I'll see if I can find. Yeah. So you've got the uh, usual auto sleeper cupboards. Oh, come on, come on. You know, the usual auto sleeper cupboards. Actually, seem a bit small those cupboards now after the uh, water trail. A lot to take in here. So, I've got a full cooker with electric hot plate. Well made drawers. Smallish sink, it's not a huge work surface, I'd say. Put great big long sofas in this one. I think the middle bit, bit makes up into a bed. Yeah, and presumably, then you can still sit on the outside there. Not sure, what's going on with the legs there? Fridge freezer. Microwave, Dayu microwave. That's a nice size 
freezer compartment and reasonable size fridge as your TV would go around here somewhere Peugeot cab 2010 vintage six speed manual these seats look very familiar this fabric and up here you've got some lockers that's good good to see lockers up there bits cubby hole space there a bit of a shelf uh, there's a fixed skylight there and turning around you've got a huge skylight here which they've got open yeah no, that's a good size skylight there looks like some sort of extractor fan there oh no that's satellite that's a manual wind satellite so presumably that's a max view one so if you know which way the satellite's pointing it gives you a little handy indicators there or well, there Astra 2 Point your satellite. So we've got these little cabby holes. <laughs> and the table. A standalone table. That's about the size of the table I need. Not too big. Magazine racks. Very nice. Uh, like the lights, bench toilet, drawers, assume that's the hanging space, and an, another table, so a little table on a leg. Okay. Pedestal sink area cupboards underneath what's the shower like the shower's big and it's got tile effect black tiles two plug holes somewhere to put your soap bit of a looks like a bit of an extractor fan there so i'm stuck on some hooks Bifold door. This is quite a bargain. You know, if you might want one or two things doing to it, but uh, this would make a really good first motorhome for a couple. Looks like it's got a rear view, a clip on mirror type rear view camera. Pioneer stereo. Yeah, it's quite a long, long van. Real feeling of space in here. Switch it off. Yeah. Yeah, they've got all the carpets out. Obviously, the valet in it. Got a recessed awning. bike rack it's got like these fake roof rails on the top yeah very nice any specs on it though. Yeah so that's the auto sleeper auto sleeper Cotswold 34995 got fog lights as well 
Right, so what I've got here is this with Contiki Sport 564 and they're selling this for 56995. So this is a Swift Contiki Sport 564, two berth, two seat belts, 150 brake horsepower engine, versing camera, solar panel, alloys, rear lounge, this one, water point, LPG locker at the back. and cameras. Oh. Yeah, so you've got a, a panel I'm very familiar with, with Audi heating, and you've got a nice rear lounge in this one. Yeah, nice long rear lounge. I guess there's no over cab bed in this model. So this makes up into your double bed at the back. As I could say it's a two berth. TV points over there. Extractor fan here. And sunroof. And lockers I'm very familiar with. waste of the space with no lid on it at the back. It always seems a shame. They could have just extended the lockers I think somehow. Never mind. This is the thing I always find a little bit weird with these models is the this panel here is like a false panel and you can see the aerial lead. Just looks a bit odd to me as so you get used to it. Yeah. TV point, aerial socket, 12 volts, 240 volts, TV mounting point are all down there. Full Thetford cooker, electric hot plate, microwave, your pots and pans, cutlery really, go in there. And a Dometic fridge, automatic energy selection Dometic fridge, cutlery drawers here, two more main sockets, uh, um, LED Spotlight is all the way around. Got speakers at the back, that's nice. Obviously if you hook your telly up to your radio, you can get the sound nicely playing in the back. Hanging space. Can't get in that one. Yes, that's where your table goes. Up the front, usual Fiat cab, five speed manual transmission. Looks like it would have a rear view camera screen mounted there. Not sure what that's for. So, oh, electric. Nice, different, not seen that before. That controls your sunroof. Oh, how unusual. Yeah, I'm not going to get much use out of the uh, driver's swivel chair there. In fact, I don't think it's got a swivel on it. Can't see the swivel lever, so I don't think these cab seats swivel. But you probably don't need them to with the rear lounge. Got lockers, locker hatches there. Access to the tanks. Have a look at the washroom. 
No, it's a reasonable size sink actually. It's a triangular sort of shape, but a reasonable size. You have to negotiate the toilet to get in the shower. And a bifold door. I'm very familiar with this panel. Extractor fan there. And you've got blown air um, inlet there. So the, the Audi does have a blower on it, which can blow air across a radiator. So they've obviously chosen to put that in the shower, which is quite a nice touch. I notice there's only one plug hole again. The other one's not been used. But as they're both on the same side, it probably doesn't make any difference. Flip out table. It's not bad actually, I'm quite warm into this. Obviously, if you don't mind making up the bed every night, because there's nowhere else to uh, to sleep. I think I've said this before. These cabs, they've used this sort of shape, this sort of almost an over cab, for vans that do have drop down beds, but they, this one doesn't. So, it just seems a bit, I don't know, a bit of a waste of space because you've got plenty of headroom. Maybe not. I mean, maybe the sunroof <coughs> needs the space. Got a little, well, that's bright. Yeah. Fiat alloys. I think I've walked around here already, haven't I? Provision for a bike rack. Access to the locker there, which Audi vent, electric, and your toilet cassette. And it's got the under skirt locker. It's quite a neat looking van, really. So I just think it's a little bit spoiled by the, the uh, over cab there. So you get used to it. Honestly, if you're still thinking about getting a motorhome, I think you need to, to get to your dealer as soon as possible because this is all the stock they've got. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little visit to Todd's. It's only when I was editing the footage just now, I realised I forgot to record an ending. So I uh, just really wanted to see what was going on at Todd's. And it does strike me that obviously they've sold an awful lot of motorhomes, so the demand is really high. And uh, there's a lot of motorhomes getting sold. Um, but they've still got a fair bit of stock. And uh, what I didn't look at was the new Malibus. They've got some Malibus there as well. So perhaps I'll have to have another visit. What do you reckon, Bob's? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, so if you like, enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notifications icon. And I'll catch up with you soon.